Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm Ethan Keaton, Technical Marketing Manager here at Greylog, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Greylog version 5 on Ubuntu 22.10. Before we get started, let's go over what we're going to need. We're going to install Mongo version 6, OpenSearch version 2.5, and last but not least, Greylog version 5. And we will be installing in that order. Let's go over Mongo. First, we're going to import the Mongo key. Then we're going to create the list file. We're going to reload, install, and start Mongo. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so now we're on our Ubuntu box. I went ahead and I did a um, sudo update just to make sure it has the latest packages. So let's go ahead and move on and get Mongo installed. Here's the command to import the key. Now this is a warning, it can be ignored. There is a workaround for it for Ubuntu, but again, there's no harm with it. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and pause for right now. This will take a little bit to import the key. Be right back. We're back. So we have the key imported. Let's go ahead and create the list file. And let's do a sudo apt update. Now we're going to do a sudo apt install Mongo. This installs pretty quick. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and let's do a, uh, a daemon reload. And let's make sure that Mongo will start in the event of a reboot. Go ahead and get Mongo started. Okay, great. Mongo's up and running. Let's just check the Mongo version. All right, there you have it. We have Mongo version 604 installed. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. So before installing OpenSearch, you may prefer to disable transparent huge pages to improve performance. Let's continue with installing OpenSearch. First, what we're going to do is we're going to download the uh, dev file. Then we're going to extract the package, install, and then we're going to modify the opensearch.yaml file, reload and restart. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and continue with installing OpenSearch. Let's get the dev package. Now I'm using the IPv4 flag here. Uh, this is specifically for my network. And I'm going to pause the video until this is done downloading. Okay, now that we have the open search package, let's go ahead and extract it. Okay, and let's edit the OpenSearch.yaml file. What we're going to do here is we are going to modify the cluster name. Let's go ahead and let's call this one the gray log. And let's just verify our path, our, our path, to, uh, the data of our lib open search and the logs var log open search that all looks good 
Let's modify the network host. Zero dollars zero. zero. We're going to do the discovery. Um, so for the sake of this purpose, or the, for the purpose of this video, this is a single node install. So we're going to do discovery dot type, and that's going to be single. And there are two, um, two commands that we want to put here, which is action auto create index. And we're going to set that to false. And then we're going to do plugins security disable. Set that to true. Plug in. Okay, there we go. Save that. Now we're going to do a system reload. Let's go ahead and make sure that open search will start on reboot. Fire it up. Check to make sure that it is up and running. Okay. It's up and running. And then one last thing, let's do a curl. The default port is a 9200. Okay, there's our cluster name and it's version 2.5 build type is dev so there we go we have open search installed let's move on to the next okay the final piece installing Graylog. so we're going to download the 5.0 package unpack and install then edit the server.conf file and then start service All right, we made it to the final step, installing Graylog. So let's go ahead and get the Graylog package. And now let's extract the package. Okay, and we're going to do a sudo apt update and sudo install Graylog Enterprise. Now for this video, I am installing the Gray, uh, the Enterprise edition of Graylog. If you want to install the Graylog open, then the syntax is a little different. It will actually be Graylog hyphen server. This part takes a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause and then continue when it's over. All right, when we are back. So the uh, gray log is now installed. Now we need to modify the server file. Before we do that, we're going to uh, generate two hashes, which is the password secret and the root password before we get to the file. So let me grab the syntax for the password secret. And I'm gonna grab this hash and set it aside. And then now we're going to create the password hash for the root account. And uh, we're going to set this to demo. Let me grab that hash. Set that aside as well. Okay. All right. Go to screen. Now we're going to go ahead and modify the Graylog file. So 
for the password secret. That is the first hash that we created. Yeah. Then yeah, the root. Here. Okay. Now we have a few more things that we need to modify. So I personally like to modify the time zone. This is optional. Then we are going to set the bind address. And we're going to set it to the um, IP of the box itself. In this case, it's 10.10.68. .10 then we're going to set it to the IP of the box itself. Is it actually okay? Now we're going to go ahead and save the file. We're going to do a daemon reload. Make sure that gray log will start on our reboot. Let's go ahead and launch gray log. Check the status. Gray log is up and running. Okay, we have gray log installed. So one last piece is we're going to go ahead and get into the GUI. Okay, now that we have gray log installed, we're going to go ahead and test it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to configure our syslog, IP tables, and then verify data ingestion into the Graylog instance. Now let's go ahead and log into the Graylog GUI. And as you can see here, there's no data coming in. So how do you get data into Graylog? You have to create inputs. So what we're going to do for this um, lab we're going to create a test uh, syslog UDP input. And we are going to call this one syslog test UDP. And set that to global. We're going to um, change the port to 1514. We're going to flip back over to the, UC, uh, the CLI and make some modifications there. And let's go ahead and launch. Okay, that's up and running. Let's flip back over to the CLI. And now what we're going to do is we are going to modify our syslog. And we are going to add a line uh, to allow the data from this box to come uh, to be forwarded on 1514. And this is a format that Graylog understands, so it doesn't need to be parsed. Go ahead and save that. And then we're going to do a daemon reload. And let's restart our syslog. Okay, our syslog is restarted. And there you go. We have, you can see it already coming in. Data is coming in. Let's go to show receive messages. And yeah, there's our data coming in from since we enabled. Um, it through our syslog. So there you have it. We have created a Graylog instance, uh, Graylog 5 on Ubuntu 22.10. So until next time, happy logging.